Okay, what we have here is a B-17G model, which was built at the very end of the war. Uh, matter of fact, it will have its 70th birthday in November of this year, and it was delivered to the Army Air Force in March of, of 1945. Uh, it didn't see any combat. It ended up going to the Pacific and did some uh, uh, photo mapping uh, missions and then did air sea res rescue uh, in, uh, in the Pacific. Eventually it came home and did uh, more air sea rescue in Florida and then it was decommissioned and then was bought by a group of people in California that uh, turned it into a firebomb. Uh, it dropped uh, retardant on forest fires and uh, it ended up uh, doing that for almost 18 years. So the combat missions it was was against forest fires and that kind of thing. Uh, it was then bought by a gentleman who then donated it to us. And we've had it ever since. And then we have tried to restore it to an original uh, B-17G uh, combat airplane. So everything on the airplane you see today is what it looked like when it came off the assembly. It has four Curtis Wright engines on it. It's a nine-cylinder uh, engine. Uh, it, it produces about 1,200 horsepower per each engine. Uh, it holds 1,700 gallons of fuel, and each engine also holds 37 gallons of oil per engine. So if you take a look at uh, a uh, typical mission, you need that much oil and gas when it Everybody that works on this airplane is a volunteer. None of us are paid. And uh, it's just the love of uh, aviation, but more important, it's the love of being able to show an airplane to the public that uh, made history back in World War II. And one of the things we hope people understand is, is the, um, the dedication and the sacrifices that uh, our, our airmen soldiers did in World War II, and that's the other reason to show us. You'd be surprised when we have people come out here and say, how did you get this airplane here? Okay, and you wonder, it has wings that it flew in here, but people actually think it's so old that it doesn't fly and you had to bring it in on a truck or something, but in this case, no, we fly it all over the country. We've been on the road now since May. Surprised how many of those veterans come out and see the airplanes. First time they've seen this airplane since they left it back in 1944 or 45, and it's the first time that they even talk about it with their family. Uh, obviously, there are people that have told their family what they did, and how much they did it, but until they come out and see the airplane and they show their family what what, what they did in World War II, you know, people just don't understand uh, what they went through. And to see their faces when they go through an airplane and, and they'll stop and they'll start looking out the window and you have to give them a moment because they're thinking of something that happened to them a long time ago that was probably the first time they even thought about it uh, until the moment they stepped inside the airplane. Tours, you can come out and look at the airplane or ground tours are just $5 to go through the airplane. And uh, the cost of a ride, if you want to ride, is uh, $425 to be in the back of the airplane. If you want a really good seat in the nose where the bombardier used to sit, that is $850. Because we're a 501c3 organization, uh, all the money goes back into the airplane for our maintenance and care of the airplane.